Hi, welcome to my first Make and Create today. This is Friday, where are we? The 23rd of February, 2024. Now, this is in place of my card and a cuppa, but same time, <laughs> same day. <laughs> um, so if you placed an order with me in January, over $70, you would have received a little card pack like this. Some of them I hand delivered, some I've popped in the mail. So if you've got your card pack, you can craft it, make and create along with me. Or if you'd like to watch first and then create it later, that's fine, you can do that. <clears throat> so let me just check, I've gone live on my business page. So just bear with me a minute and I'll just double check I'm live over there. Because I don't want to be live somewhere else. <laughs> I want to be live on my business page. Okay, it looks Hi. like, yep, Welcome hang on, there we go, turn that down, so that looks like I'm in the right place, which is always a good thing, I think. <laughs> so I've got my OBS minimized, so I can see where I'm up to, I've got Facebook on in the background, and I've moved it across so I can see comments. So yes, so welcome. So yes, if you've got a little packet like this, you can get that out. If not, you can um, just watch and you can do um, do it later. The measurements um, are all on my blog if you're wanting to recreate this card, if you've got the suite or something similar. So let's flip down to the craft desk and have a look what we're going to make. There we go. Perfect. Hi Felicity. That's, you're very welcome. Happy birthday for tomorrow. <laughs> and the card pack. So you can either make and create along with me today or you can just watch and create later. Totally up to you. Now I will also be sending out a PDF tutorial <clears throat> for the card that we're creating today and also um, another one, another fun fold card that I've got. So that's what we're going to do. So this is what we're creating today. Um, it's using the Garden Meadow Suite or the Meandering Meadow Suite. So it's quite a simple fun fold. I'll bring it down, make sure I've got it all in view. Quite a simple fun fold. So let's just have a look at the suite first. So this is the stamp set and the dies. And this is the window die that we have created our window in the front of our card with. So there, that's the stamp set and dies. You can buy that as a bundle. And But in the sweet collection, you also get the beautiful designer series paper, which I have the end of one pack and a whole new pack in here. Um, so it's all beautiful scenery car, um, papers. And the backs are quite neutral, as in not um, a busy design, so that you can use them for any kind of cards so that those ones would be good for masculine cards so this is the paper in this suite and all beautiful scenes and it's just a stunning stunning paper love it <laughs> and it's an online exclusive so if you're looking for it in the catalogue you won't find it it is an online exclusive so go and have a look in on the online store over on the left hand side I think it says shop products you click on that and then you get a drop down menu and down it's about halfway down I think it's um, online exclusives is there so that's the stamp set and the dies and the designer series paper the bundle also has this ribbon which you have a piece of it's called pecan pie center stripe ribbon and it also has these adhesive back dragonflies and birds so that's the whole bundle and let me double check the price of it. I should have done that beforehand but I did not. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so the Meandering Meadow Sweet Collection, the whole thing, stamp set, dies, paper, um, ribbon and the birds and dragonflies is $144.50 and you have one code to get the lot or you can buy things individual individually you can buy the paper the ribbon the bling all individually um, if you're going to get the stamp set and dies i suggest you get it as a bundle because you get a 10 percent discount hi 
Hi Margaret, how are you? You got a doctor's appointment? Well, that's okay. You can always watch the replay. <laughs> so that's what we're playing with today. And just remember that Celebration only has, where are we, six days to go. Finishes on the 29th of February. So if you wanted um, anything, the bundle itself is $94.50, so you'd immediately qualify for a Celebration freebie. The sweet collection, I oh, see, short-term memory loss, I've already forgotten how much it was. $144.50. <laughs> that gets you one and close to a second celebration freebie so that's what we're playing with today that's what we're using so let's have a look so here's these were my two sample cards this one was my first one and I, I goofed up on this one I didn't put my shrubbery down low enough and I had two two different colors down here so I had to use a strip of designer series paper um, to cover that up, but that was my first go at it and then I decided I didn't want white on my banner because the ribbon is um, vanilla and pecan pie so that's why I've gone with the vanilla banner so we'll put prototype number one away because we don't want that one okay, so let's get our little packet out so I'll, sh I'll explain what I've done you've got your ribbon, you should have a little bit of bling two birds and a dragonfly you should have a banner for your sentiment and you should have two pieces for your shrubbery <laughs> that's what I call it anyway you should also have a piece of vanilla cardstock for your insert there we go and you should have a piece of design one of, one of the pieces of designer series paper from the sweet collection and it should be scored at uh, let me look what it was scored at 1.5 centimeters and we're just going to fold that back like so so let's get started <laughs> so I've already pre-cut these things for you because that's that was just what you have to do when you send out a card pack in case you don't have the suite so I've cut the window out of the front of your card <clears throat> and that is not going to be used. Hi Marilyn! <laughs> That's not going to be used on this card, so you can use that for another card. Um, I can't show you, I think it's downstairs, or is it? Yes, I think it is downstairs. I made another card, this was white, and I um, just dry embossed it with a dry embossing folder. Yeah, it is downstairs. <laughs> and I stamped the wheelbarrow, cut it out, the watering can, the gum boots, and I put that all on it. No, it's not downstairs. It was a special order. I gave it the... It's stopping and starting today, Marilyn. Uh, Margaret, I think Facebook's got a problem because it took me a while to get onto Facebook. So I think there's something going on with Facebook because I even got onto Facebook on my phone and it was doing funny things. My internet connection is perfect. I've got all four bars. So I think it's a Facebook problem. So hopefully it will be okay. If not, the replay will hopefully be okay. So fingers crossed. <laughs> and I'm thinking I might try doing lives through YouTube in future because I think Facebook is a little bit unpredictable. So fingers crossed it, it's not glitching too much. Let me minimize that and go down here. Okay, I'm watching Facebook too, so fingers crossed it'll be okay. So that piece is is not used on this card, so put that aside and you can use that for another card. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get, yeah, I think it is Facebook, um, is get our little shrubbery that's down the bottom of our card here and it's hard for me to watch it on Facebook because it's behind so we're just going to snip see how we've got the shrubbery doesn't go all the way across but we need this length for to go in behind our window so we're just going to snip this little bit off here and on this side and it doesn't matter you can just snip it any any old how 
because that's going to actually go behind the window so you won't see that so it's just that I needed that extended oh is there felicity yeah yeah I just that'd be right just the day when I want to do something <laughs> anyway I hope it's okay and that it's not too bad and I hope when I download the video and put it onto YouTube it might not have the hiccups so fingers crossed but I might start going live through YouTube in future because Facebook isn't very reliable sometimes <laughs> and I have heard that I can't in a couple of weeks you can't stream from YouTube to Facebook like multi-stream Facebook's not going to allow that so yeah I'm sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment knowing which way to go okay so that's our first shrubbery <laughs> dealt with and this is our second one so the color I've used today is granny apple green which is not a color I would normally use because it's not a me type color but it works and that's one of the colors in the paper and I thought it's nice and bright so just carefully pull off your top part of your greenery and toss that away so now you've got two pieces of um, greenery and I'm just going to line it up. hi Joan stopping so I'm going to see driving me nuts I know I don't know what the problem is and I only jumped on just before I started and I thought oh no anyway I hope it's okay and I hope as I said when I download the video to YouTube it will be okay so fingers crossed that that is going to be okay <laughs> anyway I'll keep persevering and see how we go so yeah you've got two pieces of greenery now this one I set down a little bit further it's up to you how where you place it don't worry about the edges because as I said they're going to be hidden but if you used it like that not a lot of your focal piece is going to show so that's why I brought it down a little bit and that's when you're going to get uneven bottoms <laughs> we don't like an uneven bottom um, on the base of your greenery so I'm just going to see where I want it and then we will do a little bit of slicing so that way you just sort of line it up together pop it inside and then put your um, designer series paper piece in see to see if that's going to cover up too much of your paper and I think that one's all right I've got a different piece to this one and where's my first prototype I think that's different again so see how all the pieces of paper are nice yeah it is jerky isn't it damn not to worry I'll persevere <laughs> there's nothing we can do when it's a Facebook issue I'm just double check my internet not my internet connections fine so yeah it's Facebook so that's pretty good so let's pull that out I'll just bring that down a bit so I'm going to have just that little piece here that's that's hanging out my uneven bottom as I call it <laughs> so I'm going to just put glue down here and I'm going to just remember where I wanted it to go and that looks pretty good line it up if you have a little glue, bit of glue spurtage just mop it up with a tissue <coughs> okay so as I said if we put that in like that it's going to cover up too much of our paper so I don't want that to happen so the first thing I'm going to do is get my snips and or you can get your trimmer up to you and just go along like this and then you can pop it back in and see if that's how you want it so I'm going to line it up on the base like down here like so and see if that's enough cut off I'm all fingers and thumbs aren't I yes I think that's going to be okay but if you didn't want if you wanted to lower it down a little bit more you can 
some of your uh, garden is that garden green I think it's garden green if you wanted to lower it down a bit more will get lost but that's up to you entirely up to you I think I'm happy with that so now I'm going to open up my card front and on the front of our greenery I'm going to put a little bit of glue down the side a little bit across the bottom a little bit up and then across here as well okay and pick that up and just pop that on the front of our card like so making sure it's it's lined up with the base of your card front and just inside your card score line and this side of your card front does that make sense hope so Yes, the video quality is not looking real good either. Deary me. Not to worry. Nothing we can do about it. Okay, and that's got your greenery in your window. How cool is that? Pretty cool, I think. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, this is quite an easy card. You've got your designer series paper insert. And what we want to do is we just want to put adhesive tape or glue down this folded piece of designer series paper so that we pop it on our card base like so just inside so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to use it um, glue but yeah just let's go ahead and do that you can use tape <coughs> oh uh, stamp and seal I just I'm a I'm a big favor of glue glue adhesive so you just put it inside just a little bit shy of the edge of your card front your card base sorry and just with the same border top and bottom and then you should have your designer series paper like so so when you close your card you've got your scene already coming together how nice is that okay so then your insert piece is going to cover up that little fold of designer series paper now I might get what might I get I might get my garden green ink pad down yeah it's freezing what a pain and my memento so if you've got this stamp set the um, garden meadow stamp set you can I'll just move that out of the way you can stamp a couple of images down here and just oops I've got to get a block let me just get a block out honestly my desk is so messy <laughs> <clears throat> okay so I did the gum boots and the flower basket so I think the wheelbarrow is too big because it's bigger than that I'll show you the, these images on the front um, have been scaled down to fit the stamps inside see my wheelbarrow is much bigger than the one on the front so that's I think too big for inside but you could do it if you wanted to up to you I think I shall do the flower basket and the gum boots. Well, maybe this time around I might do the watching can. So if you don't have this stamp set, you can always use something else. It's improving, is it, Lynn? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so I think that's pretty good. Not if the, not if the stamp comes off the block. It's not pretty good. Uh, is that going to be too icky now? Let me grab a piece of paper. Or let me grab a scrap. Yeah, let me clean that off. Just to play up on the day I want to do a live. <laughs> How annoying. Okay. 
Okay, let's try again because my stamp came off my block. Okay, so I'm just going to put my little flower basket down here. Ah. And it's a beautiful set. I really love this set. And my watering can here. Now, I'm not going to colour those in now because that's just a waste of time, a waste of your time to watch me do that. We all know how to colour. <laughs> and I'm just going, I'll colour that in later with my stamping blends like I've got on my sample card here. There we go. And see, different pieces of the paper have a different back. Oh, I'm sorry, Joan. There's nothing I can do about it at the moment. I'm just hoping when I download the video, it'll be okay. Fingers crossed, hey? And if it is okay, I will put the fresh video over here on my, on my Facebook page. So then you just put your vanilla piece in your cards insert in, covering up part of the flap of the paper that you've glued down okay and so that hides that piece and voila so I will go back and color those in later okay let's get to our banner let's just persevere as much as we can <laughs> okay here's our little banner a very vanilla banner now this banner is from stylish shapes that's one of my that's one of my favourite um, dies, and I'll get the happy birthday out. Is that going to be big enough? Yes, it is. So I'll pop my happy birthday on a block, and let's have a look. I'm just going to, the beauty of the photopolymer is that um, you can see through it. So I'm just going to stamp that down there we go and that's all the stamping on this card so if you don't have this this set you can use some other sentiment that will fit onto the banner there's not a problem with that okay let's find my pokey tool my old pokey tool <laughs> okay i'm just going to put some small dimensionals on the back of this okay so when I do these I have to send out ones with minimal stamping because I can't send stamped images so we're just going to pop the banner down here at the bottom of the window centered in the window frame like so I think that's centered okay and then you've all got a little piece of ribbon if you if you've got the pack from me and we're just going to make a little bow okay i've probably given you a bit too much ribbon but i'd rather do that than give you not enough <laughs> because we all know how hard it is to tie a bow with not a where did you get the clips you use on your ribbon spool um is that this clip <laughs> I think that's what you meant I have no idea Lynn where I got them I think they were a leftover from my daughter when she was a teenager with some little packet she bought probably at a dollar shop I'm not sure but they're really handy and I've only got about six and I wish I had more um, yeah I think it was with a pack she got these in the pack and like um, corkboard pins and something else I remember she came home all excited when she was a teenager and I thought I could use those <laughs> and I am so I'd, I'd love to find some more they're great <laughs> okay so just make a little bow and then cut off the excess that you don't want and if you've got enough excess you might be able to wing putting that on another little bit of little card you never know like you could put this underneath a banner you know hanging out like 
make it fake it till you make it with a little bit like that and I couldn't put a glue dot in but if you've got a glue dot get that out and just push your ribbon onto the glue dot and pull it off and pop that up in this corner just to just on the curve of the of the arch and then if you've got your little birds and dragonflies you can place them wherever you like now they are adhesive backed so they do have a little bit of sticky on the back and that's how they stick down so I am going to put this birdie where am I going to put this one this birdie maybe up in the sky here dragon flies down sitting on the the shrubbery <laughs> and this birdie I might put here there we have it that's our card how easy was that card with the internet issues with the Facebook issues I should say so different scenes all different pieces of that designer series paper the six by six paper um, but they all look quite pretty and different don't they I think they do so that's your card so I just what did I call this card an easy um, trifold card I guess it is how cool is that I'll cut all those in later but that's our card for today and it can stand up like so and people can see the scene and you've got the leftover arch wherever I put that here it is you've got the leftover arch to to play with and make another card with so I hope you guys <laughs> thank you for sticking with me with the internet with not internet it's Facebook <laughs> it's Facebook that's the problem <laughs> so thank you for sticking with me and persevering while Facebook had all its glitches and problems I really apologize for that but out of my control um, I might maybe look into doing YouTube lives on a Friday afternoon instead of Facebook live um, thanks Margaret I hope you're not late for your doctor's appointment how long have we been going let me look whoops that's not what I wanted to do where am I just on the th on 30 minutes so that's good thanks Lynn thanks for watching everybody and if you want all the dimensions for the card card it is over on my blog stamp well, hang on stamping passion.blogspot.com <laughs> and you can get the measurements and see all the products I use for the card and if you place a $70 or more order um, with me in the month of February you will be in the make and create event for March and I will send out a package similar to this one that you will get and you can create along with me making the same card so I will send those PDF instructions to you now via email and I will also send them out to my team members so thank you for watching and I shall see you on Monday for my Makeup Monday. Bye for now.